Hi, guys. Coming at you now with live commentary here at Encore Monthly number uh, yeah, 24, whatever. It's, it's a big number at this it's point. A big, definitely a big number. Yeah, and oh my god, I just walked in on a double purple Pikmin Olimar. Which is just, I mean, okay, he's not dead here, but I'm sorry. Oh my god, those two purple, that's so scary. Two purple and a blue, my guy. This is actually horrifying for Ling right now. Oh, oh, okay. That's, that's gonna kill. And that dash tech is huge. Not only did it get rid of all the rage on him, but also you see he's working with a non-ideal lineup of Pikmin right now. Yeah, he needs he to still... actually do a lot more work if he wants to take out this stock and even things up. Oh, Never mind. Oh, yeah, he's he's gonna, he had a purple. Yeah, he had a purple. <laughs> yeah. All you need is one purple. That's it. And uh, like that, Swigzy actually takes the lead. It's not necessarily that much of a lead quite yet, but once Olimar has that lead and he's able to play to that, if he so desires, I, my god, I love that. He went for the whistle, Ling knew that, and he managed to go for the float cancel up there, just barely timing out the super right. armor on it. Yeah, but he got two uppers out of it. And now it's 70%. It wasn't just like two up airs, it was all of this damage. Finally, a little bit of uh, momentum back in Swigzy's corner. But oh, stage for sure, for sure. But be careful, Swigzy has two purple, too. Yeah, two purple, which is just so good for walling out opponents. But Peach, yep. oh, oh my god. Okay, hold on a second. I was about to say, but Peach can kind of float at an awkward height that, yeah. you know, Swigzy can't just like cover ground option. I agree. Uh, but going at that height means that it's more predictable when he's going to land with an aerial shield of that forward air and up smash. Oh, he stuff. has three purple. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my. Hold on. Is this, I'm pretty, I don't think this is allowed. I'm pretty sure the game makes, uh, there must be somebody must have programmed it in the game where you're not allowed to do this, right? I mean, it's basically the order of the Pikmin, but you know. <laughs> All right, one's dead. <laughs> well, what was that? Why did that grab whiff? Was that like the? Was there like a? I think it was the red Pikmin too. It, I don't know how it whiffed. Was it the grab box in front of him? I guess. Yeah. That's weird. Okay. His, his grab is pretty weird. His grabs with the Pikmin. But he still has two purple. Okay, there's big back and then purple. He sacrificed the purple for damage. Honestly, might be worth it. Yeah, he sacrificed both. Oh, and I'm the white's still on him. Oh. Yep, I'm loving the edge guard from Switzy. Oh, he's ready to end this. Ooh, where can I grab there? Yeah, it's with this stage control, Ling Ling, need, Ling needs to turn this into an action. Yes, there we go, taking yeah. that stock. Second time a dash attack has gotten the kill. Yep. But at high percent, like a high percent dash attack, he's in a position right now where I don't know if he's going to be able to afford Ooh, that, that. That's nice not something patient. that's going to get the chance. You know, but like I said, getting in that damage, you know, I like the patience from Ling right there. Oh, oh man. One more of those, it might be rough. Oh. Man, the yep. Pikmin control that Swigzy has. The fact he like sends out the red with a forward smash and then gets Ooh. two purple back airs in. Getting the sweet spot of that off smash. Getting killed. Oh, but he's getting, get yep. getting caught by the yellow. Game one going to Swigzy. Yeah, and You're honestly, right, the Pikmin control is really well, especially off stage. He's able to bring the Pikmin to him. Yeah, no, it's like, it's, it, there are certain subtleties. Like, I really want to just, like, there was that moment where he was at the ledge. He went for a forward smash with the red, and then he only had purple left, which meant that he was able to do two back airs with the purple before the red came back to him. Just really good awareness, and it's that level of tiny micro control that allows him to engineer those positions, those situations that can convert into huge amounts that of damage. That's Pikmin, too. Each yeah, exactly. He, doing. he uh, he calls that, you know. Yeah. I'm not gonna. Okay, hold on a second. Maybe you'll call this a hot take, uh, but Olimar is a eugenicist. He's, call it a hot take. He's, call it he's, not, he's, he's purging the Pikmin of their of the <laughs> genetically inferior ones. Let's cancel Olimar. You're not wrong. That's actually how it works in the game. But <laughs> ban Olimar. Yeah, no, he literally part. does that. He does that. In he's the literally game. a eugenicist. Like, yeah, you guys are gonna do my dirty work. <laughs> Only the strong and flowered will survive. Alright, got Link's counterpick, small battlefield. Yeah, I I feel like this is an alright pick. Definitely uh I don't think the stage is what cost Link the game last time around. I agree. It definitely oh. wasn't the stage. It was mainly just, you know, Swigzy's Pikmin control, as you said. Uh, his Pikmin, but also one thing that we just saw, the Punish game was nothing like that. He would hit Swigzy, and you managed to do a couple percent here and there. Yeah, now but he's 80, doing big yeah. damage right now. And that's a dot eyes. Ooh, almost dying to the dot eyes at 123 right now. <gasps> Missing the edge yard, but getting a backer. Yeah, it's like, and Swigzy, he's just pressured so much right now. Doesn't I even agree. have a chance to get a single reversal yet. We're finally back to neutral. But right. uh, we're not even in a minute in. 
Yeah, yeah. no, and one good hit from Ling will absolutely send Swingsy flying right now. I agree. Now. I like Ling's, you know, control around the stage. You see Swingsy throwing Pikmin, he's moving around. That was a deep forward air. You saw that. Yeah, Swingsy it actually bad baited, it dashed back just a little bit, but he but went super far for that and connected. Just yep. really Still good read on the fair, movement. Too. I, I do think that that's one big change here in this game. Ling is just has a much better handle on where Squeaksy's movement is. Look at that! Yep, Did agree. you just see that? Yeah, I saw that, and you're absolutely right. Down to a fair, 63%. Still holding on to this first stock, too. You can see, it look, you can see the patience and the awareness of Pigment now. Okay. Ooh, nice backer coming in, but not going to kill. As you can tell, Ling's focus isn't just on Olimar. It's on the Pigment now. Ah, he's getting back yeah. to stage. Yeah, only one purple in rotation right now, but that's the going to be the kill move. Yeah, like, look yep. at that. Up smash with fire doesn't do yeah, it, it doesn't, at all. It doesn't. Maybe if it was forward flash, yes, but up smash, no. Right. Oh, nice. Getting in a sneaky fair off that air. Oh, Ooh, nice oh, what a tech. tech. That was like an SDI tech or something. It was. Went Ooh. Up there. I like that little conversion. Getting the weak hit of Nair into a dash attack. Almost killing. Again, Swigzy. Ooh. Barely getting hit by it. Again, Swizzy at kill percent. Link still on this first stock. Max yeah. reach too. And this Ooh, is, nice parry. This is really, really big. Ooh, try to get okay. a dash second. I was about to say, if he goes on three stocks to one, uh, come back like this, it's hard. It's a tall order, but it's oh, very doable. You are doable. absolutely right. Three it's very stock hard. to one comeback, though, that is, I, it's, you can count on a, it's like a 5% success rate. Once you have one person on three stocks. I agree, and there you go. One. Patience waiting on the grab, going for a dash second. And the fact he didn't have rage kept him alive. He's at 176. He's, I agree. he's, he's being chunky right oh, now. Oh, but there's a back there. Yep, gonna kill across the stage on his last stock. And you're talking about three stocks to one, now it's still two stocks to one. Still a big lead for Ling. You really see the adaptation from game one to game two. Ooh, nice. Missing a fair, but going up for the conversion of an air. Oh, no tech coming in. Already at 70. Link with good pressure on the ledge right now. Keep it. Woo! New Swiggy had the grab ledge. Grab ledge back and immediately near. Oh, look at this right. Oh, oh but wait. the reset. Yeah, got the reset, but no, not the purple. I don't, would purple have killed there? I'm not, I don't think so, but still, when it did the damage, when it. So he got the yeah, job done, yeah. knocking Ling off stage is what you want. But, coming in. Ooh, still living, barely. But yeah, the thing is like the margin for error, especially because whenever he gets hit, he gets put off stage. And that's where Peach's kill has become so much more devastating when he has that stage advantage. All right, Swizzy, no purple. Ooh. All right, Swizzy got reach percent two. Hoping for this kill. Oh, yep. You're gonna regular get up and gonna get grabbed. Really smart. Yeah, you have to pay attention to where the blue is in the lineup. And he threw that red Pikmin and then followed it up. Oh, I agree. Yeah. Ooh, almost lived that. But good on, you know, adaptation from Ling. Oh, fantastic. And really, what I think it comes down to was the way he was reading Sweetie's movement in neutral, especially. The amount of deep forward airs he got. There was that one moment where he just ran directly underneath him while he was on top in the platform and got a back air on his landing. He absolutely knows exactly where Swigzy's trying to maneuver, and he is shutting him down as a result. I agree. As we, we all saw it. Yeah, as, and as we move into game three, first of all, I think stage counter pick could actually be a good sort of palette cleanser for Swigzy. We're actually going back to PS2, so kind of having double platform stages for all three of these games. Uh, yeah. But uh, I feel like he has to be more careful with just fading back. Like, obviously, Overman, Olimar wants to be dashing back, but the amount of times he got sort of caught doing that, he needs to be mixing it up just a little bit more. And okay, as I say that, I was like, you know, okay, maybe he don't fade back. Instead, he holds in, and he does get punished for it right there. Ling is prepared for everything. Yep. Already at 60%. I, do, I think that game one kind of started like this also, though, and Swigs ended up pulling that. He has no Olimar. I'm good to see he has no Pikmin, rather. <laughs> oh, he is an Olimar without the Pikmin. <laughs> yes. So you're right in the way. Ooh, nice. Getting a crab in. Ooh. All right, we now have one purple in rotation. He fell out of the first dash attack, and it actually meant that he got comboed into a second. Oh, that's such an awkward spot for the Pikmin to be on beach. Like, for those of you who don't know, when the Pik where the Pikmin latches on dictates what hitboxes can actually kill them and get you off of them. 
Uh, and he was on Peach's toes, so forward air and neutral air weren't connecting. That's the thing where you have to down air in order to get rid of him, which is really inconvenient. Man. Oh, nice back air. Ooh. That's very interesting that Peach can cancel the side B if she's attached with a Pikmin. I wonder if that's going to be a cheeky movement option at some point. Right? I'm hoping to capitalize on it. Right now, both players hold on to this first stop. Yeah, but both of them deep in the red. Wow, that up there almost taking it. But that's yeah. going to do it. Yep, that pair's going to take it. Yeah, that upper was the blue one, unfortunately. If it was definitely the purple, it definitely oh, would have took that stop. yeah. Okay, but he has blue. Uh, he's definitely going to look for a grab. Right yeah, there, you yeah, see we it. Saw it. We saw the grab try to come out, but Ling able to punish, already getting 40%. I think that this, that's something that swings. You guys, you see that? Yeah, I saw that. Oh, drift back from Link. New, new. Oh, it's a bomb! And he throws oh, it. Oh, instant! Are you instant, kidding me? Instant, and it kills. No time for him to react at right? all. He had no reaction. He didn't expect the bomb to come out and Link to throw it immediately. Well, I mean, and look at that, 47. percent Oh my God! The, the wave it, of momentum right now. Also, the tilt. If you are a Swigzy. How upset are you at you this moment? You have to be very upset you after seeing him pick up a bomb, he threw it immediately. Not gonna hold it, just gonna throw it, and you're dead. Bombs are like, not only is it rare, it's really rare you actually see them kill. Normally, yeah. pieces will just use that threat of the bomb to yeah, really to scare, scare them. you. Exactly, but no, that was just a, I <laughs> killed him from mid-stage of 40. And with that bomb, Ling has a big lead right now, too. Oh, this is, this is, this is Ripperoni. Yeah, this is Ripperoni. As soon as you can somehow make it back, it's awful, but... I'm telling you, man. Oh, the Pikmin is stagnating the fair. Yeah. That's going to be it. Link taking it 2-1 with the reverse.